Hi everyone, my name is Mr. Watson and in this video I'm going to give a brief overview and a little bit of context about Tissue, which is a poem written by Imtiaz Darker. This poem is part of AQA's GCSE English Literature Power and Conflict Syllabus. It explores how much power paper has in our lives and also uses tissue paper as an extended metaphor for humanity. So when we're thinking about the term tissue, what do we mean? Well, first of all, we have tissue paper, but also we've got human skin tissue. So this poem really, whenever it is referring to tissue, you can look at it literally in terms of tissue paper, but you can also look at it as a metaphor for human skin tissue as well, because you'll find there are links between the two types of tissue. For example, them being fragile, them being temporary, them being an important factor in our lives. So the poem draws attention to just how significant paper is in our lives. It defines who we are. It defines our identity. It tells people about us. You know, think about your birth certificate or your passport or the sheet of paper that you'll get your GCSE qualifications on. It's all on paper. And those pieces of paper contain some incredibly important information about who you are, what you're capable of, where you can go. There's also this implication that identity can be changed by humans. It is what we make it. For instance, with maps, we choose how to define nationality and borders. At some point throughout history, people, humanity, have got on a piece of paper and drawn where the borders are and decided if you're from this part, you are this nationality. Whereas if you're from this part, you are this nationality. That has been decided by humanity. And again, this highlights how important paper is in our lives and perhaps draws attention to the fact that some of the restrictions we put in place are there because humanity has put them there. Nature hasn't done it. We've decided where these limits are. Paper equates to life. At least that's the view of this poem. It controls and records us. Think about receipts. They track what you have bought. They track how much you spent. They log the time and the place that the transaction was made. It is a literal paper trail of where you've been. Likewise, when you walk into a building and you need to sign in, more often than not, you pick up a pen and you write it on a piece of paper. Obviously, these days, some of that is done electronically, but it's the same kind of principle. Paper is tracking us. We use it to log where we have been, how long we've been there for, the reason for us being there. But despite all of this, Despite how significant paper is in our lives, it is fragile and it doesn't last. And this is when we can link this idea of tissue to the idea of human tissue and humanity. Because like paper, humanity doesn't last. And this is where that extended metaphor comes in. Over time, paper will become damaged. It will tear, it will stain. The pages will become thinner and thinner with wear. And in a similar way, as humans become older, we become more fragile. We become weaker. Our skin tends to lose some of that resilience that it had when we were younger. So considering this comparison between humans and paper, the poem throws up these really interesting questions. Are we just as fragile as paper? Should we accept that we're not built to last? Are we more important than paper? And should we let paper define our identity. Now it's important to note that Tissue is a poem that is open to many different interpretations due to the ambiguous and complex exploration of its themes. This can sometimes make the poem seem intimidating and difficult, but try to consider this openness as an opportunity to think outside the box and consider ideas in a more figurative way, rather than a literal one. And with that being said, that is the end of this video, so I hope you found it useful. If you did, please leave a like and why not subscribe so you don't miss any future videos from me. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.